Welcome to Hillside House. This is an 8.1 star sustainable home designed and built by Positive Footprints two years ago in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne. The home aims to accommodate us into our old age. Please join us on the tour. We've just walked up the drive to the front entrance which is situated on the west side of the building. This is a fibreglass door which has excellent insulation qualities and can cope with the intense weather conditions. This area has clear story windows which can be opened electronically and these doors create a thermal break also providing insulation. Now moving into the main living area, as you can see it's open plan. This is an all-electric house. We have fans, LED lighting, split system heating cooling, we have a larger unit in the kitchen area and smaller units in other areas. We've always used a floor lamp in the lounge, so as part of the design, we had a power point built into the floor, which works really well for us. The windows are all double glazed, and on a sunny August day like today, the house's sustainable qualities are maximised. The polished concrete floor in the main living areas creates a thermal mass, which releases heat into the evening, keeping the house lovely and warm. We've found that if there's any sun during the day, there is no need for additional heating at night. We're very happy with our kitchen and pantry area. Apart from this one large cupboard, we have drawers which we find great for ease of access. With the Dectron bench tops, induction stove top and a very efficient oven and dishwasher. The lighting is also very good and the pantry area works really well for storage and cooking. This is our second living area. We intend to add a bifold or sliding door to this room at some stage. This area is currently being used by our son as a home office. This room can be open to the south courtyard. It also has clear story windows for ample lighting which can be opened and closed electronically. This room flows through to the main living area and out to the front deck. Both doors have sliding screens and in addition we have a large automated awning with a weather sensor over the deck which provides lovely shade in the summer months. This is our master bedroom with north and west facing windows for cross ventilation. We have a fan and a split system. This room has a bamboo floor and a walk-in wardrobe with a solar tube which provides ample light during the day, plus a light switch for the night. Moving to the ensuite, this the ensuite is located at the opposite end to the hot water heater. So we have a Redmond bell to redirect the initial cold water from the hot tap to the rainwater tank for water conservation. This area leads to the main bathroom directly in front two bedrooms to the right and to the left we have the toilet plus a large cupboard. This is the second bedroom and very similar to the adjacent third bedroom. Both have a window plus an external door which lead to the rear courtyard. They have a fan, a split system, electronic opening, clear story windows, built-in wardrobe and bamboo floor. This is the main bathroom, which has great ease of access, including a walk-in shower. It has a solar tube in addition to the window, plus a bath. We're back in the main entrance again, and this time we'll go to the right, which leads to our back door and courtyard area. This room contains our laundry, and also where our lovely dog sleeps. It also leads to our two-car garage, which has extra storage at the back. The garage also houses our 10 kilowatt LG battery and solar edge inverter. Following a sunny day, the battery powers the house for the entire evening through to the morning. Three people have been living here for the last 12 months using 2.02 kilowatts per person per day. The electricity bill for the last four quarters was less than $700 in total 
and this includes the supply charge. On the roof of the garage is a 4.8 kilowatt LG solar panel system supplying the battery and house. As you can see we have a light coloured roof to reflect summer heat. We have round gutters which minimise leaf litter and each downpipe has a leaf trap for ease of cleaning. On the east you can see the hot water heater and four of the five split system units for easy maintenance. The angle of the roof has been designed to maximise winter sun and minimise summer sun. During December and January no sun gets into the house because of this design. We have colour bond eaves requiring no maintenance and we have a feature tiled wall to add interest to the front deck. The 18,000 litre fibreglass water tank is located behind our garage. It provides cold water to the laundry and to the toilets. It also supplies water to the garden with over 250 metres of trickle irrigation to our newly established Indigenous and Native garden. It also supplies water to our vegetable patch and our small orchard. We have one additional feature to show you. We have battery operated blinds which operate individually or all together and can be stopped in any position. We have found these to be terrific. In closing, the thoughtful design of our home has achieved a simple and lovely living environment. I hope you have enjoyed Hillside House.